Today, Kevin and I are gonna be comparing some frozen foods for you. Uh, this is the Enlightened Brownies and Cookie Dough Light Ice Cream. And I have a new one. It's the frozen Greek frozen yogurt version of Brownies and Cookies and Cream. Or Brownies and Cookie Dough, sorry. Brownies and Cookie Dough. So they're both Brownies and Cookie Dough, but this is light ice cream. This is a Greek frozen yogurt. But they were both $4.97 each at Walmart. So it didn't matter whether you got the frozen yogurt or the light ice cream you're paying, you're still gonna pay $4.97. And what size container is this? Uh, 16 ounce, so it is a full, you're getting a full pint of ice cream. Uh, for $4.97. This says it has 75% less sugar. It's 130 calories per serving, rich and creamy. Three servings in the container. The whole uh, container is only 400 calories. Mine's 460. Ah. So the frozen yogurt is more. It's more. more. Well, we're going to be trying the light ice cream first because, just to be frank, it's very soft. I'll, I'll lay these both out at the same time. And the uh, it says wait uh, five to ten minutes. I've That's waited, honestly about that. It's yeah, I've waited that probably. It's probably been like thirteen minutes. It says feel good fact: each strawberry has approximately two hundred seeds. Wow. Okay. I can believe that. So it, it felt soft. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we reviewed this flavor in the past on the channel because we've reviewed a lot of enlightened ice creams now we probably haven't reviewed them all um you see the little hunks of cookie dough in there what does it say on the side there try, try our other products. products oh okay ice cream bars okay yeah the cookie doughs are little pellets <laughs> uh, like literally pellets. you know it felt really soft yeah it's not once you get in there but no it's I don't mind that. The texture's a little... Yeah. The cookie dough is very kind of pasty and, and it's big hunks, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have much flavor, honestly. The cookie dough, when you get one of those pieces, um, it is a very, very thick, Mm -hmm. And uh, you you literally have to like bite through it. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you're chewing, it's kind of pasty. Um, it's it, there's kind of a grittiness to it, like like it cookie should. dough. Yeah. Um, the what I'm getting from this mainly though is a lot of um, a darker chocolate. Yeah. And it's kind of. Um, I agree. Chocolate's the main flavor I get. It's not a great chocolate though. It's just not very. It's not very strong, first of all, and it's not very, it's not like a rich, luxurious chocolate. No, it's, very... it's not creamy. It's thin, kind of like a water. Yeah. So, like, there's some melting in the bottom of this bowl, and, and it, it's not a thick, uh, a thick ice cream. It's just, it's just thin. It's kind of like putting chocolate milk mix in water and spit milk. Yes, yes. Kind of like that. You've watered down the flavor of the chocolate. It's not that creamy kind of texture you would get with milk. It's just... It's, it's edible. It's definitely, you could eat it, mm -hmm. but it's not something I would go choose to eat. Yeah, I don't mind it at <laughs> all, but if I, I think you described it perfectly, if I could describe this to you, it would be a thin um, chocolate milk, or and not even chocolate, chocolate water. It would be a thin chocolate water, is yeah. how I would describe it, yeah. with occasional cookie dough pieces. Yeah, and the cookie dough, honestly, is the best part of it. <laughs> So yeah, chocolate water. Yeah. Okay, so now this, if this feels softer now, Greek frozen yogurt brownies and cookie dough, chocolate frozen Greek yogurt with chunks of brownies and cookie dough and fudge chips. I didn't really get any uh, like brownie pieces. I got mostly just like, chocolate chippy kind of thing. And this says the same thing, it's worth the wait. Feel good fact, they, Oh, the first hot, it's hard to read through the chocolate. The first hot air balloon passengers were a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. They landed safe and sound. So it let's- this stuff out. Yeah, Billy Bob, let's stick the farm animals in this hot air balloon and we're gonna laugh while they're going up in the air. Can you imagine? They were probably terrified. They had terrified. Them tied to a string and 
They were kind of scared to death. Um, that came all out all at once because it was so firm. This is very firm. I usually like frozen yogurt pretty mm -hmm. good though. I okay. I don't see the cookie dough fly, flying around in here as much. Mm -mm. No, I'm looking for it. Yeah, oh, there's one. Yeah, look, there's one. Mm -hmm. I bet you that's the same It exact, looks exact, it's the same exact pellet. I bet you that's the same cookie dough for both. Because you're, that, the cookie dough is not gonna affect whether it's in ice cream <laughs> or yogurt. It's fine. Sometimes, or a lot of times, when you eat frozen yogurt, you would never know it's yogurt. Mm -hmm. You a thousand percent know that's yogurt. Uh, there's been so many brands we've had that has been just uh, stellar, stellar frozen yogurt. Yeah, this one you you I mean you know it's yogurt. It's got that sour creamy kind of sourness to it, mm -hmm. um, like that curled milk kind of flavor. It's got that, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's not for me. Oh, you don't it, like it? No, it's kind of like, and I like yogurt, but I don't like that really sour yogurt. So my, my favorite is Dan Light and Fit. I love the flavor of that. Um, I like the uh, the textures and everything about it. And it's not a really sour yogurt. It tastes like yogurt, but it's not really sour. This is one of those other yogurts that tastes really sour. And, it, and I've never had chocolate flavored yogurt and I wouldn't want it. Now I know why. <laughs> um, did you get any of those fudge pieces? No, I, I mean... Okay, like, look, the right here is yeah, one right on one, top. there's some right here. Um, I, I still, after I ate the yogurt, I really didn't want to go back into it. I am having the opposite thoughts of Kevin, which is, I mean, that's the, we're, what Everybody we're here for. taste buds are different. What we're here for is to tell you how we feel about it. Um, I really, um, the cookie dough is the same. So whether you have the cookie dough in this or the cookie dough in the ice cream, it's the same. Uh, I did not get any fudge pieces at all in the ice cream mm -hmm. in that bowl and you in saw the regular, the light yeah one. in the light ice cream uh so the i got more i got i actually got some fudge pieces in the the uh, greek yogurt and i really do like them they are um thicker than what i was expecting not as like thick as the cookie dough but i do like that uh, rich dark, uh chocolate flavor of the fudge mm -hmm. Um, it and, looks good. The little fudge piece. And too. then the yogurt itself, I like it more than the chocolate water because that tastes like chocolate water and there's just nothing else to it. For me, at least the Greek uh, yogurt has more flavor. There's more flavors going on in this than there is in the, the ice cream. So it's more calories. It's 60 more calories for the whole pint. But to me, I thought it was worth it. Now I don't really see. I don't. I don't even really, really get the chocolate. I mean, I, you get chocolate, but it's overridden by that yogurt flavor. It is. No, you're right. But I tell you what. Here's another piece of fudge. Yeah, the fudge was okay. It was. It was chewy and kind but of. But I just gritty. don't understand why did we get so much more fudge there's some, in the? There's some in here. Probably. Well, I, I just I, I got little like chocolate chips in yeah, there. Yeah, that's what that, I got. That too. ice cream had chocolate chips. It did not have like these chunks of fudge. Um, Neither one of these is for me. I, I wouldn't buy them again either, just because we've had so many other uh, Greek yogurts, oh, the frozen awesome. yogurts that were terrific, and you would not know the difference between that and ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, truly, there are so many brands uh, that do this better. That um, I mean, that's great that they're expanding, and I'm sure a lot of people will buy it. But it doesn't uh, make me want to buy. No. No, but if you like yogurt and you want chocolate in your yogurt, then go for it. <laughs> and they, they do have another flavor of this out. We just didn't have it in our area, so we got the one that we could get. Um, but I, So we're picking the opposite ones here. I wouldn't pick either one of them. I'm not, well, I wouldn't pick either one of them either. Uh, I mean, I'm not choosing either one as a... But if you had to. If I absolutely had... I, I, I truly, I Would think you I'd rather, rather starve? I think I'd starve. <laughs> Bold, bold, Kevin. I mean, if I, I mean, I really, I just really don't like that sour yogurt flavor, and it doesn't go good with chocolate. And that one was just like nothing. So I mean, it's just really, I mean, you might as well just drink water and survive mm -hmm. on water. Yeah. 
Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I will have a close-up picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.